Hey everyone, welcome to the Hopcast. All right, thanks for joining us again, everybody. I'm Brad Chmielewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. And we're dropping a little beer knowledge on yeah. in this episode. Back to uh, 101. We're going to do a... What differentiates the lager from the ale? Right. And we have a lager and an ale right here. Two great ones. Right. We have the Metropolitan Flywheel. Chicago! <laughs> and then we have Steamworks. Yep, Steamworks is out of uh, Durango, Colorado, I believe. And this is their third eye pale ale. Yeah, so uh, which one do you feel like? I think we should first? start with the lager. Okay. Because that seem... Sounds good to me. Usually that... that's like, if we're talking beers, usually that's the people's first style of beer right. is normally a, a crappy lager, but this is a good lager. <laughs> So let's go ahead and uh, crack open this Hopcast favorite, the Metropolitan Flywheel. So we poured that on out, and that's looking pretty light. Yeah, light in color, gold, but kind of cloudy too. Yes. Kind of want to, kind of want to see from a craft beer. Yeah, there's a a slight haze to it. Um, it's got about an, a nice finger's worth of head. Uh, and usually that attributes to the amount of hops that they're they're using in there. So nice healthy dose of hops. Getting kind of a um, getting the hop aroma. Getting yeah, a little bit of something spicy in there. Mm -hmm. So this it has probably more of a a hop character than your people are normally used to out of a, out of lagers and stuff like that. But uh, right, most people are gonna be familiar with like. The Budweiser, the Miller, yeah. those typical lagers that you're picking up in the can and in 30 or 24 packs. <laughs> <laughs> so we're taking it out of that realm, and uh, this is something new where, you know, you can actually enjoy these. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, I love this beer. I do, too. Um, it was no surprise. <laughs> I we knew what we were getting. <laughs> Was that me faking like I'd never had it before? <laughs> no, but uh, something that you're going to always pick up from the, the Metropolitan Flywheel is just a nice, smooth, rounded malt character that's just punched up from the back with a nice hot bone. And this is, this is all beer ingredients. They're not cutting it with like your rice or your right. other ingredients to water it down and reduce flavor. I We've guess. got malt... And hops and water and yeast. Yeah. Right, high school bolt. <laughs> <laughs> so it has a nice uh, spicy characteristic I, that I really like, and there's like this, there's a sweetness to it that isn't. It's not objectionable. It's like it's really really nice and round. No, it sort of like cuts the hop bite. Mm -hmm. If you're if you don't like that, you'll get the sweetness that just kills that and mm -hmm. just works well together. So yeah. Great, well-rounded beer, very sessionable. You could have a, a number of these in an afternoon. Great for football games and all that stuff. I, I heard someone talking about, you know, oh, you know, I don't drink, uh, I, I like to drink good beer, but, uh, you know, I can drink Coors, it's good for football. I'm like, what? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Just because you're watching football, you have to drink crappy beer? You can drink darkness or something, yeah. <laughs> something crazy like that. <laughs> so we recommend... Um, so switch into the flywheel if you've right. been, you know, on the Coors diet for your football games. So let's go over what makes this a lager. Now that we sure. we've had it, we're loving it. The um, main main component that's going to differentiate a lager from an ale is your yeast. There's two different uh, categories of the yeast. You either have lagering yeast or you have ale yeast. So the yeast and either one is going to be different on in the location where it's fermenting in the actual beer. Lagers are, are bottom fermenting, so all that fermentation action is going to be taking place in the bottom of your fermentation vessel. Right, and cold, right? Yes. The um, lagers are, are going to be maybe down around like, you know, you know in the, in the uh, around the 50 degree area, 45, 50 degrees, but noticeably colder than ales, which you can do, you know, anywhere from probably about you know, 68 to 80, so, you know, it, it, but so you gotta get warmer. You gotta give loggers props that they're taking the time and make sure the temperature is cold enough and they have to have a cold room or like if you're doing them at home, 
you gotta have. See, that's why you, you're gonna find a lot more homebrewers doing ale, it's just because it's easier for them. Some people don't have temperature control that goes down that, that far, where they have actual refrigeration units. It's that expensive. Are, yes. So, so a, lot more, a lot more money goes into the lager. Mm -hmm. they, but then maybe it even drop with the ingredients you might buy on the ale side. Yeah, I mean, it all depends. And, and, and uh, I'll mention this as well, like lagering takes longer than making a nail does. So how long does a normal lager take? Lagers are usually looking at, I would say, maybe a couple months, um, you know, give or take. And then ales, you, you could pump out an ale in a couple weeks if you wanted to, you know. So if something, something messed up with this batch, it would be a while before they have to, they have to start over again. It's not right. like... Oh, don't worry. We'll have it back in bottles next week. Here. Yeah. So you, you got to take into consideration that they're um, s using the space that they have wherever you're storing these fermenting beers. It's going to take take up a longer chunk of time in those space, which you know uh, equates to money. So it's it's all it's all you know, and, and uh, just a general characteristics of loggers. Are, are usually going to be like drier and crisper mm -hmm. than an ale, um, and and I think everyone can kind of relate to that, you know, from from drinking it. But um, whereas ales are going to be kind of more complex and, and fruity. But this is definitely very complex for mm -hmm. a lager. Yep, they they took it to a whole other level, which is awesome to see. Yeah. So, cheers to Metropolitan. Yeah. Wonderful lager, a favorite here. So if you see the Metropolitan at your local beer shop or wherever you could even i mean i'm seeing them in the grocery stores you see it at whole foods nowadays yeah. so pick it up good stuff so all then, right let's move on to the ale now right all righty cheers so that lager has gone it's gone and it is missed <laughs> I need to go for more but i'm hoping i'm hoping this is just as good or even better yeah, you know what? I've had this one in the past, and it uh, was pretty tasty. We're talking about the Steamworks Third, Steamworks Third Eye. Third Eye. Yeah. yeah, you know it. So uh, out of Durango, Colorado, we're going to crack it open and give it a pour here, man. So that poured out kind of coppery, golden, I guess. Yeah, uh, a little bit lighter than an amber, I would say. And it's, it has a very slight haze to it, but it's it's... Fairly clear. Uh, I guess a little less head than I kind of was expecting mm -hmm. for such a high alcohol and aroma that's so hot. It is. It's, it has a beautiful aroma, actually. It's like um, <clears throat> the uh, hops are pretty assertive, but it also has a nice malt backbone, too. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, there you go. Beat you to it, asshole. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... It doesn't even taste like a pale ale. I, I think it... Um, <laughs> Mislabeled. <laughs> to me, it has more of a malt sweetness than I'm used to for a pale, but it also does have, like, in you know... I mean, the hops are absolutely noticeable, but it has, like, kind of so, a candied, you know, sweetness to it. Pretty sweet. It leaves, like, a sticky taste in your mouth, mm -hmm. which could be why the alcohol is so high. 7.16. Something like that. Point one, one, one six five <laughs> niner. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, something that you're going to pick up from the ales is that uh, there's a complex kind of fruitiness um, and, and, and a sweetness to it that you normally wouldn't find in the lager. Right. So how does the ale differ from the lager? Like in the actual making of it? Um, like we said before with the lagers that are fermenting on the bottom of the fermenter, these are, are uh, fermenting on the top of the liquid. So like, as you can see, we'll show a picture that has a, a, of a homebrew that I've actually done that where you can actually see the fermenting process occurring. So really, if you remember ales, top, lagers, bottom, that's right. like already one step ahead of most people. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and um, remember that you're gonna be fermenting at higher temperatures with the ales than the lagers. Yeah. And uh, you're just gonna get more of like more of a complex um, flavor profile. You're gonna get a lot more flavors going on, less crisp than the lager. So can you do the ale at the normal lager temperature? Because doesn't 
piece kind of have everything in one space? But is well, there those each specific uh, fermenter is temperature controlled. So okay. it's not the space it's not that the it's in. Room itself. It's the container. when 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 you're a badass like that, you can have the you know the fermenters that are temperature controlled. You don't have to actually enclose them in an uh, entire okay. room can, like uh, a home brewer would. You know. They so, had to have one big cold room. As, as a rule, like you're gonna get like a lot more sweetness as the temperature is raised. So depending on what you're looking for, that's what's gonna happen. Okay. In a nutshell, yeah. I mean, <laughs> obviously there's a lot more things that go into it, and uh, but um, you know. And so with, temperature temperature does ha- has a lot to do with the flavor profile. Yeah. So with an ale, you can go a lot farther with the beer than you can lager, right? Like as far as what? Just the other things you can do with it and. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you can experiment certainly with lagers. Um, I would think just as much as ales. I think it tends to be that there just happens to be more ales okay. in craft beer. Is that a reason because they're easier to for people to make? To me, I th- I think there's two reasons. There's the, um, it takes less time to make ales. Also, some people just don't like lagers that much if they're into craft beer because... They haven't had a good lager before. Right. They're used. They've grown up on and started drinking crappy beers, which are lagers. But you know they're the Millers and the Buds and the Coors and all that stuff. So they assume that they don't like lagers, and maybe they don't. But um, but they, as we said with the Metropolitan Flywheel, right? That's an awesome lager. Yeah, it's an, it, not only an awesome lager, but a great beer in and of itself. Right. So kind of need to just come upon a good lager just to see if you actually do like it so and so what's a average ale that everyone's gonna see like well like a sam adams uh so the sam adams is actually a lager so that uh, the the, the, the regular boston is the lager, boston yeah. lager uh that's the one that's most common but here in chicago i think the, probably the most common ale is the honkers ale from okay. goose island which is a uh, a bitter and Sierra Nevada has a pale, right? Yeah, Sierra Nevada is a uh, is a pale ale. That's very pretty common. So, and you're you're just gonna find those characteristics. Okay. But the third eye here, most people aren't gonna be able to find this around here, right? Here I picked Chicago. that up in Wisconsin. Okay. Um. So I'm not sure if they distribute here or not. Maybe in the coming years they will. Huh. Yeah, I'm digging. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good beer, for sure. So uh, here's just another one to open your eye if you can get a, your hands on some some Steamworks Pale Ale, the Third Eye. Grab that too, and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff, showing you a lot more beers. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Woo!